Hi, we are going to introduce you how to calibrate a single input, single output plant using an Arduino Mega and Simulink in real time. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, okay no, but it's necessary have a slogan, test, test, don't give up, test again. The objective of this project is control the angular position of the beam where is placed the rotor motor. So, it is necessary to measure the angular position, and in this project there are two ways to do it. The first one and the easiest way is using a potentiometer, and it is placed at the pivot point. The second one, it is using the accelerometer and the gyroscope MPU6050. The way to use it is easy too but it is necessary a higher develop. Therefore, the first option is chosen for this video. If you want to do it with the MPU, I left these three videos, where I explain how to use it, the gyroscope with Simulink, the accelerometer with Simulink, and how to combine the measurement to develop the complementary filter that is very necessary for this sensor. The potentiometer, it is connected to an analog input of the Arduino. It is very important the scale of the measurements. That potentiometer converts the angular position of the beam in a voltage that is read by Arduino and transformed by MATLAB to an angular position again. The rank of the sensor is transformed to minus 30 and 30 degrees. That is our rank of control. The biggest problem in control is the noise in measurements but the solution is just use a filter, in this case, a Kalman filter. A Kalman filter is an optimal estimator, infers parameters of interest from indirect, inaccurate and uncertain observations. Ok, right now we have the measurement system, and we have to calibrate the actuator, in this case a brushless motor. This motor could be handled with the servo motor block easily. Then it is necessary to find the working rank of the motor, and many tests are doing for that. When the rank has been identified, it is necessary to accurate the model and select some saturation states. We have now the measurement and the actuator. Right now, we are going to use the PID block and the slider by the reference. The PID block is changed to a PI block or proportional and integral block. The derivatives are not considered because it increases the noise of the controller. The rank of the reference is changed to minus 30 and 30 degrees. Moreover, we calibrate the proportional and integral gains, and we test the working. This process has to be done many times until we find acceptable gains. In this case, we have an oscillatory response. There is no bad thing, because the control is moving around the reference. So, we need to find better gains or implement new schemes of control. Then, if we implement a PI plus D controller, we can mitigate the oscillations. This controller implements a derivative term, but it derivates the output signal of the plant. There is the huge difference with a simple PID controller. And this controller is more robust than a PID about noise. This controller achieves the reference and it is very stable, but is slow. A better tuning could help to improve the response, but in this state satisfies our objectives. Simulink with Arduino is an excellent tool to control many plants. The online simulation helps us to test many states of the controller. And how I said before, test is the only way to do better controllers.
In the next video, I will show you how to create a Fusey controller with Arduino, MATLAB and Simulink. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please click the like button if you want to see more videos like this and we will see you in another videos. Bye!